To take the apical pulse, begin by assessing for factors that can affect its rate and rhythm, such as medical history, disease, processes, age, exercise, position changes, medications, temperature, and sympathetic stimulation. Okay, well, we're going to get started. I'm going to take a listen to your heart rate, okay? Clean gloves are worn only when the nurse may be in contact with bodily fluids or the patient is in protective precautions. Help the patient into a supine or sitting position and expose his sternum and the left side of his chest. Now, locate the point of maximal impulse, or PMI, also known as the apical impulse. First, find the angle of Lewis, a bony prominence just below the suprasternal notch. Slide your fingers down each side of the angle to find the second intercostal space, or ICS. Then carefully move your fingers down the left side of the sternum to the fifth intercostal space and over to the left midclavicular line. When you've found the right spot, you'll feel the PMI as a light tap, about one to two centimeters in diameter, marking the apex of the heart. If the PMI is not where you expect it to be, as in a patient with an enlarged left ventricle, inch your fingers along the fifth intercostal space until you feel the PMI. Remember its location over the apex of the heart in the fifth intercostal space at the left midclavicular line. Okay, now that I found the spot, I'm going to go ahead and take a listen with my stethoscope here, okay? Next, warm the diaphragm of the stethoscope in the palm of your hand for 5 to 10 seconds. Then, clean it with alcohol and allow it to dry for 30 seconds. Place the warmed diaphragm of the stethoscope over the PMI and auscultate the normal S1 and S2 heart sounds, lub-dub, lub-dub. Once you can hear S1 and S2 with regularity, look at your watch. When the second hand reaches a number on the dial, or when the digital display reaches a round number, begin taking the apical pulse, counting the first beat you hear as one. If the pulse is regular, count the rate for 30 seconds and multiply the total by two. A normal heart rate ranges from 60 to 100 beats per minute. If the pulse is irregular or the patient takes a cardiovascular drug, count for a full 60 seconds. Also, listen for patterns of irregularity with any dysrhythmia. For example, you might notice that every third beat is skipped. Okay, Mr. Davis, your heart rate is 64, which is good. It's within normal range. 